Already, three prison officers from Five Wells in Northamptonshire have told Sky News of serious safety concerns, warning that life inside this brand new super jail is chaotic, violent, and officers lack functioning equipment and experience. Several others have since got in touch, including one former officer we'll call Mary. So why did you leave Five Wells? For safety reasons. I didn't feel safe. The staffing levels were risky and the corruption that went on. I didn't feel safe working with the colleagues because I didn't know who was corrupt and who wasn't. Like the other whistleblowers, Mary believes corrupt officers were bringing in drugs and says the system that allows certain prisoners' privileges to move between the blocks was being exploited. I suspect they're the ones moving the drugs to and from each landing. They feel that they have the say over the prison, whereas it should be run by the prison officers and not the prisoners. And responding to claims that officers' equipment is faulty, such as body-worn cameras, the Justice Secretary is demanding answers from G4S, who are contracted to run the prison. Now, if there is concerns about those not working, they should be working. They should be repaired. Are you going to look into this? Oh, yes. No, I've, I've already given instructions to senior leadership to look into this precise thing as a result of this... Uh, as a result of Jason's piece? As a result of Jason's piece. Relatives of prisoners have also been in touch. Their emails include, My husband is a resident in Five Wells. A lot of the illegal items have and are being brought in by the staff. My son is in Five Wells, and on his first chance of calling me, he told me the prison was run by the prisoners. He's told me about staff being attacked. My son is currently in there, and it's a wonder no one has died yet. Drugs, alcohol, weapons, flick knives and mobile phones are rife. Serious criminals are running the place. We're like teachers, counsellors, peacekeepers. Last week, this national advert was launched for new recruits, but across the service there are concerns about senior officers leaving. Ministry of Justice figures show a third of full-time staff have less than three years' experience. Some of the prisoners have been in jail for longer than some staff members have even been alive and, and are even having to tell staff members what they ought to be doing. Well, in some cases that can be absolutely fine, but there is an inherent risk with prisoners telling staff uh, what they ought to be doing. G4S says the safety of staff and prisoners is our number one priority and we do not tolerate violence. Managers take swift and robust action when serious incidents do happen. We have sufficient levels of staffing to run a stable, consistent and safe regime. The majority of our employees have more than 12 months prison experience and we have a large group of officers on secondment from other G4S prisons. Our dedicated officers work tirelessly to detect, intercept and confiscate contraband through a range of measures including the use of patrol and drug detection dogs, joint operations with Northamptonshire Police and HMPPS counter-corruption colleagues. They say they are committed to supporting and caring for their staff. Jason Farrell, Sky News.